Hi, thank you for joining us. I'm Nicole and I'm here with Overland Explorer. And today's video is all about having a nice afternoon snack with a great view. Here we are at uh, Clearwater County in Southern Alberta. We've actually been here now for a few days because frankly, it's just a beautiful spot. We wanted a little time to relax, recoup and uh, rest. So this morning we had a, a pretty big breakfast of sa sausage and egg English muffins. So we haven't had really anything for lunch. We don't really want much for lunch because we had a big breakfast, we're gonna have a nice dinner, but we need a little something in between. So this is all about doing some grilled chili shrimp with a little seafood sauce, just for a snack, tide us over till we have supper. So it's easy, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I have my grill on, it's on high right now to get it up to temperature. And I have about a dozen uh, fairly large shrimp in here. They're deveined. I was I purchased them that way. Deveined with the tail on. Size-wise, they're about 21 per pound. If you're wondering how big they actually are, and there's about a dozen in there. Now, normally, I'm a really big fan of vacuum sealing all the food, meat, and stuff that goes into our fridge slash freezer. But shrimp poses a unique problem. When you go to vacuum seal it, the sharp tails tend to pierce the bag. So that's why I have them packed in a simply a Ziploc bag today. But double purpose here, I can now use this Ziploc bag sort of as my uh, vessel to stir things up. So let's get started. I have about 12 shrimp here. And to the bag, I'm going to add, oh, a good tablespoon, one to two tablespoons of oil. This is simply a vegetable or canola oil, whatever you like to use. And I have ours packed in these nice Nalgene containers. They're great for being leak proof. And here I have some chili spice mix. Mostly consists of chili powder, paprika, garlic powder, and salt. But don't worry, I'm going to have all the ingredients in the description. And I'm going to put in a oh, solid tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. We're just going to mix it up and see how it looks. We might have to add a little bit more. But as you can see, I'm just simply rubbing it around, coating the shrimp with the oil and the spice rub. And it'll take a minute to get things evenly coated. And if you feel that uh, you don't have enough of either, just add more, which I'm gonna do. Looks like I could use just a splash of both. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. A little more spice mix. I don't know if we can, let me just open that a little. Maybe get a inside shot. And a little bit of oil. All right, I think we have it. So I'm gonna thread these onto these handy metal skewers that uh, we actually carry in our kitchen equipment case. I think two should be enough. I'm gonna try to cram them on there anyways. Now, bear with me, I'm gonna try to do this straight out of, straight out of the bag. <laughs> it may or may not work, we'll see. And my whole purpose for this is I don't want to get my hands all goopy. Talent. Maybe. <laughs> I 
I don't want to speak too soon. What do I got on there now? I got, what, five? I'll go one more. There we go. Looking good. We're going to get them on the grill. Close it up. And I'm just going to finish off with my remainder shrimp. All right. There we go. Get him on there too. Try to lay them flat. And now that our shrimp are on, see I have minimal mess. I know that seemed a little bit fussy, but there is a reason for that. We do try to conserve water. So try to keep the mess minimal. There we go. Put that in there. So I'm just going to get rid of the garbage here. And to help with the smells, I always like to put any food waste of the day into a sealable Ziploc bag, as you can see here. And then at the end of the day, we squish all the air out, seal it up, and it just helps with all the smells. I can hear our shrimp in there sizzling away. And they're looking good. I can smell all the chili powder on there. Give them another minute on that side before we give them a final flip. All right, our shrimp have been on there for about three minutes, which is actually a fair bit of time for shrimp. But I do have them packed on there fairly tightly together. But you can tell when they're ready to flip, the tails will start to curl in and the shrimp will get a little tighter so we're just going to give them a flip. Look how nice that is. And we're just going to go another two minutes, probably tops, and they'll be ready to take off. So while those are cooking, it's probably a good time to remind you that if you're enjoying our video here today, that you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. All right, it's been about two minutes and they are ready. They are beautiful. So, just in case you just happen to love grilled shrimp, but don't, don't necessarily want to do this for a snack, these would also be great with your supper, with your steak supper to be specific. How wonderful would that be? And don't those look awesome? And the reason I'm taking them off the skewers into the barbecue is simply because sometimes the pressure it takes to peel them off, the shrimp sometimes like to go skidding. So I do it into the barbecue. That way, if I lose control <laughs> of a shrimp, I don't actually lose the shrimp. Been there, done that. Anyways, that is our wonderful afternoon snack enjoy with a nice nice beverage here today <laughs>